Hi, my name is Tim, and you're welcome to another edition of Smelly Sweet. I've been tagged. I've been tagged by Ange over at 50 Cents UK. I'll leave a link to her channel in the description down below. I really think you should check her out because she has some really passion for fragrances and uh, that really comes through the screen. And I also love that the way she does her videos because she just sprays all over herself and you can actually see the glow on her skin increasing the longer the video goes on. I also want, I'm not going to tag anybody today because recently I've been doing some tag videos, but I want to do a shout out to Claire Smith. She recently did a video about 15 accounts to keep an eye out for and I was the only boy on that list, so I'm very proud of that. Uh, Claire does uh, she does some favorite favorite things in February, February, January month stuff like going on and uh, talks a little bit about a lot about fragrances and that is the reason I watch her channel. Um, she's really comforting to watch. So really urge you to check her out. Go and tell her in the comments that I sent you to her channel. Now, sometimes it doesn't always work to plans because my plan was to take the piss out of Ange by just doing like her, she did and be all soaked in water when uh, I was done recording and I did start to record it but I also did a reel for my Instagram account today so go and check that out and when I was doing that I accidentally deleted the stuff that I already had recorded so this is just going to be as usual, don't edit anything, just from start to finish, one take, and uh, Freedom Fragrance Tag, it's called. So it's based on that it is lockdown and what you're going to do when the lockdown is over. And that is also difficult for me because I do live in Sweden and Sweden has had pretty generous, uh, easygoing approach to all this. That has led to that we had had many victims of COVID and many that has become very poor and some even I do think that Sweden even are in the top when it comes to casualties per amount of uh, citizens. But uh, that is another story and not, nothing going to talk about here today. But I still had to put myself into with my imagination what would I miss if I was in a total lockdown. Some things are true that I have avoided doing or haven't been able to do and some things I just have to, to think of what I would be missing. So let's start off with one thing that is the most difficult thing and that is when this is over, when my parents have got their, uh, their vaccinations, I'm heading over there and giving them a hug. That is the first thing I'm going to do. Sorry, I've been touching my microphone a couple of times. I hope it doesn't disturb you too much. I will start and think about that. Now, and the fragrance I'm going to use for that is Uzel Lom. Because this is a fragrance that is likable, it is easy, it isn't projecting too much. So I think that that is suitable for that occasion. You already all know all about it. This one, uh, this bottle does last five hours on my skin. I think that is pretty weak, pretty poor, but at the same time, I do appreciate it because it makes me able to switch up fragrances during the day. The projection of this one is none too less. The tech second thing, and that is just using my imagination, I would miss is going to the barbers or the hairdresser. And I think yeah, that every serious collector should have at least one Aqua di Palma in their collection. This one is Colonia Assoluta. You have it isn't a typical barber fragrance because it hasn't got barbershop fragrance because it hasn't got the lavender. But still, it gives me that feeling when I apply it. I, do get a refreshing feeling because you have the bitter orange, sweet orange, bergamot at the top, you do have some ylang ylang, you have vetiver and all those uh, fresh notes. So it, I do think that Aqua de Palma is a classic brand and, and as I said everybody should have at least one bottle in their collection from them. Uh, however this one is yet another one that hasn't doesn't last that long, around five to six hours, doesn't project too heavy, but it gives me that refreshing, clean feeling. So, what are the next thing? I do have a little note laying here, I don't know if you can see it, so I can just see what I'm going to do. Next thing is heading to the gym. That is also something I haven't been doing, 
I do play some Puddle Tennis. I urge you to go and check that out here on YouTube, Puddle. Just type Puddle and uh, watch out because that is a very fun sport to do and it's appropriate for all different levels. Um, if you are at the same level with the ones you play against. And for that, going back to the gym, obviously there's only one thing to choose. Alurong Sport, the best sport fragrance out there, really screams sport when you use it. Now, now we come to a thing that we haven't been doing for a while, and that is me and my friends gathering at the local cafe, taking our brunch or something like that and playing on the horses. Just choosing the horses we're going to play to or playing at some games at the Premier League or stuff like that. Sit down and breakfast, talk a little bit about that and that. And going to the local cafe here in Sweden is a combination with the bakery and <laughs> you know what I go for. Kali <laughs> Vanilla 28. Have you been to... Oh, have you been to this channel before? You do know that I really, really love this fragrance. I leave an iCard above, I have talked about this one before, so I won't go on about it. But I would like to, to take a break here and tell you guys, you know the drill, comment, like, subscribe. Comment which fragrance that you see here on today is your favorite. And uh, yeah, if you have, haven't subscribed yet, I just ask, what are you waiting for? This is a good channel. <laughs> this is a, some, some different topics, not the usual videos, some different topics, not too many top lists than that. But I'm going to do some more top lists as we go along, as my collection is growing and stuff like that. So, and for you who have been here and uh, giving you my support throughout this, this year, almost, no? Just some months that I've been going, six months to eight months of something like that. Thank you very much. It is much appreciated. No. I lost the track again, I need to check my note. Uh, Rose in Copenhagen is something that I haven't been doing uh, for a while. In Sweden we have some, some niche stores, but they are all one and a half hour from where I live. Copenhagen is two hours from where I live, but I do have been to those shops and, uh, and smelled fragrances. But I miss Copenhagen because there I find some fragrances that you don't find nearby here. From Killian, for example, I haven't smelled Angel's share yet. I'm waiting for this COVID to pass over so I can go straight to Denmark and check out Angel's share by Killian there. And they also have Juliet has a gun. It's a, a brand I don't find here so, you know, close to where I live. And for that occasion, I go with Joe Malone, Wood Sage and Sea Salt because this is a so it is fresh fragrance, you do get the wood, you do get the sage, you do get the, the kind of sea wipe going on here. Uh, but it doesn't project too heavy, it isn't a heavy fragrance, so it won't disturb my nose when I smell on the other fragrances. Next up, let me see. This one is special. <laughs> There's also something that we haven't been doing, you know. Gathering at the cafe, playing on the horses, later on the evening, playing some poker with my friends. Just a friendly poker game, no, no big money, nothing like that, but I still want to win. And I go with Bohemian by Swedoff. I leave an eye card above for this one as well, but this one is fearless. This one is careless. This one puts your opponents in respect. So therefore, therefore I go with Bohemian for that occasion. Next up, we do have cinema with my wife. That is something we, we don't do too often, but sometimes we just feel to... to do something different, not just uh, the usual Friday, Saturday nights that we all have going on. But just do something different and go to the cinemas. And I would go with Initia Oud for Greatness. You all know the most about this one already. <laughs> this good one is Strong Projecting. And I would go with 10 sprays of this one to the, to the cinema. Because, you know, you have the seats, you have your arm where you can put your arms on. And your next door neighbor, <laughs> he wants to take his part of the arm share. Well, he won't come near me with 10 sprays of this on me. I would get my space. So for that reason, I would go with Initia Wood for Greatness. Next up, we do have a dinner with my wife at a restaurant. That's something we also, I like to do quite often, but only when I'm at bigger cities because the quality of the restaurants nearby 
I make the food better myself and I won't pay that money for the food. But I would go with Baraunda from Nasamoto. Just look at the cap. This is an amazing fragrance. Expensive drops just for you. Mm, really comes off that whiskey booziness from the top. But it dries down to a nice woody, gourmandish fragrance because the sweetness you have, there must be vanilla in the base or something like that. There must be be some patchouli maybe as well. It, it isn't a, a, a too educated guess, but I do believe that this one has... Well, I'm going to do a review, review about this one. So stay tuned to the channel. I will do a review about this one. Uh, but the, this is classic. This is a real, real good fragrance, a real classic fragrance. Next up, we do have uh, Guerlain Lume Ideal. What would I use this one for? Well, me and my wife, we have a stand-up comedy show to go to in June. I really hope it's going to go off because it is with Fluffy. Have you seen Fluffy? Check him out on YouTube as well. Damn hilarious dude. And I'm so looking forward to that. And the reason I go with this one is because this one opens up fresh with the citruses, has a creamy nuttiness from the almonds and some leather in the base. So when I'm at the stand-up, I won't offend anybody nearby me. They will quite enjoy the fragrance I am wearing. But then the evening goes on and me and my wife end up at the restaurant. And um, when the leather comes through in this one, very appropriate for that, for a night occasion where you go to to a cinema maybe and going for dinner later or something like that. So that is also a good one for that occasion. Holidays is next up. We all like traveling. As you can see behind me, I have a world map put, put it together with stamps that me and my wife have been collecting through our younger years. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> so we, we had them in a book, in the books, you know, stamp books and we, we wanted to sell them but we didn't know if there was a hidden gem between them so we said let's use it instead let's make it of it so we can watch it and have it and don't have to to feel that we maybe have sold something that is worth plenty of money so instead we can watch it the world map uh, and for traveling i go with mandarino di amalfi by tom ford this one opens up yet again Oh, the Mandarin in this one is so refreshing and I would use it already on the airplane because on the airplane when you have this one on you won't offend anybody they will think you smell clean and fresh and that is a good occasion but also when you have been laying in at the beach the whole day coming back to your hotel room or bungalow uh, I will show you if I can if you don't have you see there Thailand my favorite destination uh, at Long Beach Chalet at Kolanta. Check it out, the, the beach bungalows there, they are so damn fine. And they have massages at the beach and a nice typical Thai restaurant at the beach. Some easygoing mentality, I really love it. And the food is delicious. So check that out, Long Beach Chalet in Kolanta, Thailand, if you're going to, to there, because that is an amazing place. But just imagine, being there the whole day, coming to your bungalow, taking a shower, applying this one, you get the uplifting freshness from the mandarin and you do, at the same time you feel like you come out of the shower. So that is the perfect frames for that. I go with the aqua version because I do believe that the aqua version is, that it has way bigger price value than the EDP it, because the longevity is a about the same this one has maybe one hour less longevity but the projection is better on this one than the EDP in my opinion <laughs> so that was all for today there were the 10 things I miss doing I do hope it wasn't too much gibberish all around and that you enjoyed the video so until the next time everybody stay safe and be well and I'll be back <laughs>